Hello and welcome back. Um, we are going to continue to work on um, uploading images, right? We had this bug that um, the RQ workers weren't working on the jobs. And <coughs> I will now implement a workaround because I thought about it a lot. So I could just switch out basically our um, Q solution, like replace RQ with something that works better. Or I could just implement a new command where we just scan the upload folder, right? And um, I think I will go for this solution because this is something we can actually do in one session because like replacing all the RQ jobs will probably take a while and I actually don't have the time to migrate another subsystem. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the general idea is that we keep all of the uploading stuff um, just as it is. Um, the general idea is that here on completion, we just do not do this here. And um, another thing is that we should compare the image hash, right? with the image hash in the folder because there isn't like an entity for it yet. So so if um, all right, so first of all, we have to um, hash of the photo. Oh, that's not that great. Um, existing photo hash, right? P equals, and then we do this, right? So if we actually have this, so this file exists, then we calculate the hash for it. And so if the existing photo hash equals image hash, then we will do this, else do that. Okay. Um, Actually, we don't want to do anything here, right? So that's also important. Uh, we will then just make it an empty string, right? So and then we will check this if photopath, then do this. All right. Uh, file already exists. Do not copy it in the upload folder. All right, this is still kind of eh, not that pretty, but uh, still that should work. Um, all right, so now it only should upload the images, but we don't actually um, we don't actually look for uh, we don't actually like process it, right? Um, man, I'm already a bit tired, but at, by, but 
at least I know what I want to do, which is important. And I think my audio this time also works. Um, right. Now we are looking for a scan view, right? So we have the scanned photos view, we have the full scanned photos view. And um, And I think we will just add a new thing here. I mean, it's, it's kind of hacky, but it works. Uh, selective scan photo view. Um, all right, that works. And then I only need like a an option to only scan one path. Hey, how are you doing today? Um, I'm I'm doing fine. Um, I'm still trying to fix a bug uh, from yesterday. Uh, multiple photo uploads are not working, so mm. now we're working on that. Um, the issue is that the RQ worker doesn't want to um, remember multiple jobs and now we're just engineering we, we're just engineering like a new way to scan images so we just scan always then the um, upload folder instead of scanning each photo on its own um, yeah, but I have now to, uh, but I have to figure out now how to actually add the path here. Are you directly uploading to S3 or to your database? No, we were just uploading like to your local server. Um, I don't actually want to implement S3 because like it should be local, right? And self-hosted and um, S3 is like uh, proprietary and stuff like that. So it's not great. So yes, we, we not directly uploading to the database. Uh, at first we like just copy the file into your local uh, folder, right, where all your images are in an upload folder. And then we scan the files and create like entries in the database. And uh, yeah, now I have to figure out how to edit folder here. So user scan directory, this is the thing we want to replace, right? So, and I think we only have that folder. Okay, cool. So that shouldn't be hard to like change. We just add a new one that's called scan directory. Okay. Okay, and where do we have this? Uh, where's the, here we go. Okay, that should be just scan directory. And this here is also scan directory. Okay, cool. Let's save this. Now we should get errors here or not <laughs> okay so that is request.user.scan directory okay same goes for here and in here we have request.user.scan directory And now we have to concatenate a path. How do I do this again? 
I also just I also should look up scan photos, not that, that I like use it somewhere else. Delay. No, it's only in these three views. That's great. Um, all right. So it was called path right. Image path, image path, image path. OS path join, here we go. So let's see. Uh, for now, I will just basically keep this feature to a minimum, right? Because if we actually now put the option of a scan directory into the API, we also have to check if this is a valid path or not. And uh, yeah, I kind of don't want to implement this right now. I want to keep it simple. And that should be web and then uploads, right? That should work. Uh, let's go to upload.py. Uh, it's called uploads. All right. Yes, okay. And then we have the device. For now, we only have like the web. But in the future, it would be nice to also have like something like uh, your phone name or something or like your laptop name if we have like native clients because that way they are like a bit sorted at least. Um, all right, so scan directory uploads device and that's the, that should be the correct order. Um, to do, allow for custom path. And here, if it is a to do, sanitize the scan directory. Okay, so that should work, I guess. Um, I think I also have to add like a new route for it. Here we go. Uploaded photos. Okay, very cool. So that should technically work. Now we just have to look up um, how we did it in the front end. So let's search for it. Full scan photos. Server.get, here we go. Okay, scan, uploaded photos. How's, how's the URL called? Scan, uploaded photos, right. We are also going to revamp the API in the future. 
So nothing, so this is probably not uh, final yet. Okay, so we just send it over, then pass the job response, print something out, that should work, okay. And let's go to chunked upload button. So if we are finished with this for loop, right, then we're going to do this. This patch exists, right? Quick fix, import. Okay, let's save this too. Save. Okay, let's see if this works. I want to go to the views again. Yes, I only scan the new images. That's also correct. All right. I'm hyped. Let's do this. Um, okay. Um, let's start up Docker. I probably have to kill container, yes. Job failed because the control process exited with an error code. What is happening? <laughs> CTL status dot service. What the hell is happening? No way. It's just no longer working. Stopped Docker application container engine, started request, repeated too quickly, failed with, okay, maybe Docker is already, no, it's not running, that's not great. What is happening? No. Yeah, I'm not liking that. So let's see. Um, let's try the good old um, restart. <laughs> not something I wanted to do, but I guess I have to. Okay. And that's one of the pros when you have a capture card, I can just use it like that and restart the computer and you can so, still see everything. <laughs> and I re um, and uh, like the video quality got way, way better. Like I looked at it and um, it's a huge improvement. Mm. All right, so let's see if Docker now wants to work or not. 
system CTL start Docker. Hey, it worked amazing. A lot of people always say, uh, said to me like that you don't have to restart Linux, but it's obviously not true. Like, you still have to restart Linux like any other system. Okay, so let's go to the Docker thing. And uh, I think we have to kill the containers first. It's from another project and uh, they are starting every uh, up like every time. Okay. Here we go. So let's see if this works. I'm really looking forward to migrating everything to a mono repo. Right now, I always have to commit to both repositories. And uh, if somebody opens up a pull request where he or she has to do like changes in the front end and in the back end, I always get two pull requests I have to review, uh, which is just more work for no reason. All right, so front end is now working. So I think we can log in now and uh, check if everything works. Oh no, I got another notification. Okay, it's just more features. Um, all right. So we have uh, 36 photos. I would change it up to English. Oh, I also have to fix this one here. Profile. Here we go. Okay, so let's upload some images. Let's add five new images, put them here. They're uploaded. The job is called scan photos full, which isn't great. Um, and it found 82 images instead. <laughs> um, but it's working, so that's good. All right, and all the images are now here. Amazing. Very, very cool. So that just worked. That is great. And it's done. Awesome. Okay, so that's the right approach. Um, that works every time. Um, so we're okay. We even have like our low resolution images, value 11 and stuff like that. Cool. So that should be now more robust. Um, we still have to fix up a couple of things. So let's see. So if I go to admin area, OK, 
actually it will just say scan photos, which is great. I also don't know why it says that he didn't process any images. It's the counting is still off, but that's another issue. Like we have a lot of these little issues, but one issue at a time, I guess. Okay, so let's go to photo actions and now we will change our these things, right? Let's go to locales. Um, where is it? Here we go. Okay, so English translation. Let's go to toasts. Right. Scan uploaded photos. Scan uploaded photos title. All right, so that worked. Let's save that, let's go here, let's change this out, save. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Um, is still loading. So let's go to settings, right? Library settings. No, settings, settings, yes. Okay, so that was on layouts, I think. Settings, settings, settings dot. Default time zone. My computer's a bit slow today. What did it just crash? It wouldn't be great if it crashed. <laughs> uh, it happens all the time that I just want to fix one thing and then I find a couple of other issues. Um, okay, so let's go to localhost first. And then go to settings. Okay, now it works. Cool. Um, all right, so that's another thing I fixed. I wanted to test scanning, <laughs> right. Um, let's go to library. Let's click on scanned photos. Okay, that still seems to work. All right, settings, library, we scan all photos, scan photos full. Now he actually does something. 
because he, he doesn't only skip it. That's great. Okay, cool. No, oh, I didn't have to. Had, uh, I didn't have to do it. Ah, uh, it just does it on its own, right? Items processed is still broken. Um, okay, cool. So let's do a couple of commits. And it only took half an hour. Like yesterday, I worked for like two hours on this issue to debug why only one job was executed. But I just didn't think of just, hey, create a new job, but it's easier. Um, okay, so let's see fish and let's go to front end first. Okay, stage changes, git commit. Okay, I mean, we, we can look into a couple of issues maybe. I mean, I got some time. All right, 13 issues. Button disabled is assigned a value, but never used, okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay, let's see what else we can fix. <laughs> but I removed it, man. Oh, because I didn't add this right. Okay, stage changes. Okay, still getting used to the workflow with a strict linter. But it also takes like way too long, like it takes 10 seconds every time it should take maybe like, I don't know, one second at most. Work availability is assigned, but the value is never used. Okay, in line 30, interesting, cool, let's remove that, save, 52, empty components are self-enclosing, self-closing comp, okay, what do you want from me? Probably complaining because of the use effects or something. One, five, three. I don't get it. Stage changes. One five two. Okay. It's these things. I see, I see. Run three six. So he just wants me to do that instead. One hundred and nine. Oh, 
Okay. How many errors are left? Yeah, it takes like 15 seconds. Like it should take at most like a second. Otherwise, I will probably don't find uh, the time to fix it. Value is value, else UTC. Why is this unnecessary? I don't get it. Just have to do this instead. I don't. Okay. I will look this up. Another common mistake is using a single variable as both the conditional test and the consequent. In such cases, the logical OR can be used to provide the same functionality. Here is an example. Okay. But that looks wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. I also don't know where the button is for that. Uh, I don't know. I will ignore that. I will fix that later. Git commit no verify. Okay. Um, fix wrong locale in settings. Oop. Very cool. And uh, yeah, then we have these three thingies. So push that, stage changes, git commit no verify, um, scan uploaded images after uploading. Okay. Then we have this here. So stage changes. Libre photo skid commit and that's probably okay. Why does he has ha, I don't I don't get why he has to install this. It should be installed. What? Passed failed. Okay. Flake 8 failed. Okay, an upload. I have a couple of things that are wrong. Let's see. UUID and Django request are not a thing anymore. Uh, that is true. Handle new image is imported but never used. That is also true. Stage changes. All right. A refactor scanning to use a custom path. It be used to scan for the uploaded images with a new endpoint 
for now. Okay, let's push this. And also push that. Very cool. So, um, yeah, so that should work now. Um, I had a like, so, so we got a couple of new languages like Chech and like Basque or something like that. And uh, now I have to look it up. <laughs> CS, I think that was one of them. Well, but let's see, right? Um, so let's go to, where is it? I18n.js, here we go. CS. So that is one thing. PT, do we already have PT? We do not have PT. Okay, cool. So Sweden is already a thing, right? Yes. Polish also. That also in the NL also. Japanese also. Hungary isn't a thing yet. Do we actually have any codes? No, of course not. So France we also already have. And FI is, I think, new. So let's see. Yes. Okay, cool. So now we should have like three new languages. Um, EL is I think also new, right? But it's also empty. Okay. I really have to set it up that you at least have to upload one translation. <laughs> Otherwise, doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, so we now have a couple of new things. And now we have to add this to the profile page. So where is it? Here we go. Here we go. And that is CSPTFI. CSPTFI. And let's look up what languages they are. I18N, FI. Finish. All right. Finish. Did I wrote it the correct way? No, with double N, okay. P 
Portuguese. No, <laughs> nicht Portuguese. No, Portuguese. Here we go. And CS is Czech, but I always forget how it's written. Here we go. That's also definitely wrong. <laughs> Portuguese, yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's go to locales, uh, which is here, and then English. Settings. Okay. Finish Portuguese now and uh, yes, here we go. I think EU is a new one, right? Uh, okay. I think I also have to add this one. I 18N, 18N, EU, I think that's Basque, yes. All right. Yep. And then profile. You nice, okay, and then we add this key here. Yes, no, not really. You Okay, very cool. So if we now go to Oh my god, I really need more RAM. Okay, so if we now go here, we have Basque and um, Finnish and Portuguese and Czech. Yes, cool. So, git commit uh, cd dot dot cd libre front end Stage changes, git commit, at church Portuguese Finnish and Basque to profile okay cool uh, okay we have to pull first that's fine with me and push very cool so man today I'm really fast like yesterday was like a drag but today it's like very very fast fast but my english today is a bit off i definitely need to stream more um okay let's see okay as you can see we have like a lot of new translations suddenly 
that's great. Um, very cool. Um, one thing I want to look into, but I, I don't know if I implemented now, is to um, add a button to the profile page. Um, to like make it more obvious for other people within the program that they can help improve the um, the the languages, right? So let's go to profile. And here we have that. And actually all I want to do now is to have like a button and I want to have this nice gradient right but that is a group Yes, exactly. That's how it should look. Uh, what the fuck? Um, yeah. So let's go to the login page. I want to use the action button or a action button we, that we also use like um, in the log in page. Like we have like this nice gradient and. I also want this there. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's still compiling. So let's add, oh God, I have too many things open. So let's close others. Um, and let's go to locale, English please. Yes, okay. Yeah, I will just put it into settings, settings, here we go. Help translating, here we go. Okay, and then I want the the help translate button, right? Translation, translation, where is it? Here we go.
Yeah, href. Okay, component A. That's what is missing. Nice. And then you get here. Awesome. That should help with um, with like people helping out, I think. So group right center. Do I have to center them? I don't know. Center. No, that did not work. That did not work. Okay. I just want to like adjust them, but like the title kind of breaks it. Disabled required, okay. Let's no style. that correct? No, not really. Yeah, it still seems a bit off. No. It's really something like 27. Okay, I want to zoom in. Where is the zoom thingy? Zoom, here we go. Oh, let me... This looks good, I think. It's just a bit too big, you know? Maybe like one more down or something. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Cool. And I think we can also Yeah, I think that's fine for today. People can now help translate. That's great. So let's see if this actually has any effect on people helping out translating stuff. I think it will. Um, but I also could be wrong. Maybe people will say, 
remove this button, but I don't think so. Um, add button for play. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like my videos, you can like and subscribe. Um, if you want to help me out, you can sponsor me on GitHub Sponsors. Um, if you found a bug, leave a comment and uh, I see you next time. Bye.